witty people, it's Friday on World Wide Video's channel, and you know what that means. <laughs> I'm here with my friends Ty and Kara, and we're going to tell you about underrated movies, TV shows, and other things that we think deserve a little bit more credit than what's already given to them. So without further ado, here are our underrated things. Whatever you want. Let's start with Kara. I think the Mary Kate and Ashley mystery series. No. <laughs> but it was so. Shot down. <laughs> I liked it so much. Gladiator? Is that. No, no Gladiator is really popular. That's very popular. Okay. Anyone ever heard of Bird Dogs? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think Bananas and Pajamas is pretty underrated. Okay. Why? Wow. I don't know. We, we grew up with that movie. It was like our childhood. And, now I, I bring that up and nobody even remembers it. I mean, what's not to love about bananas and pajamas? pajamas. Like that is Ponyo. Ponyo. You like Ponyo? I love Ponyo. Super underrated. You liked Ponyo? It was amazing. I loved Ponyo. It was so adorable. I saw five minutes of it and I was like, no. <laughs> you need to read. So try. good. Ponyo so is. Cute. Well, I don't know if it's better than Little Mermaid. Isn't my dad like, like evil? Version. And it, isn't it like? No, he's not evil. I thought Liam Neeson was a bad guy in that. No, it's, no. he just doesn't there is want no her bad to guy, really. get married to someone on land. He, he doesn't want his her. daughter to become human. He wants her to be magic and in the ocean because he thinks because humans are polluting everything and he's trying to keep, his job is to keep the ocean clean and he's trying to work up to restoring everything to how it was in the like like some ancient time period like crustacean. But then crustacean who's the like big lady in the ocean? She's, she's the what? Mom. She's the yeah. Does she the whole ocean? Like, she's kind she's of like, like is he married to the ocean? Yeah. She's kind of like the goddess of the ocean, yeah. yeah. I think Atonement is very underrated. It was nominated for like one? seven yes. awards, and like, I forgot which one won that year, but it was like kicked under the bus by this other movie that came out, and because they were both equally popular, that one won, and everyone forgot about Atonement, but it was really good and really sad. But it's really good. Other underrated movie, The Brothers Bloom. That was a good one. It's sad, but it's a good movie. We still haven't even started it. It's good. It's like, it's Mark Ruffalo and then the guy from The Pianist, and um, they're con artists. Don't do it. Uh, it's, it's a good movie, and it's so sad. You and just I, said it so funny. Pianist. I usually take my time Pianist. with this so people don't Pianist. think of Pianist. Would Amadeus be on Amadeus movie? is a great movie. It won like three Oscars. It? It's just, it's like five hours long, it might, but it's so uh, good. It might be underrated among our generation. Yeah, I guess like, so. I feel like people don't watch it, because it was excellent. I remember that, and that was wonderful. Ooh, music and lyrics, that one's pretty underrated. Oh, Brother, Where Art Thou? You know that movie? That, that Everyone so knows awesome. that movie. I've never seen the movie. Like, my friend Rachel, she loves that movie, and she's like, you gotta watch it, and I've never seen it. It's fantastic. But like, it's her favorite movie. <coughs> I'm, I'm dry. <laughs> Fresh out. I probably have tons. Like uh, every old uh, movie that I watch. The like sea. the court jester. Funny little fishy, who could you really be? Where's this girl? Pineo, pineo. <laughs> Magic sets you free. She's a little girl with a round tummy. I hope he puts that. Delicious. <laughs> I think a uh, very underrated thing would be the sweet life of Ty, Mike, and Kara. Phone date was real. <laughs>